Hello guys, what's up? It's me, Joe. Welcome back to another episode of Trove. And as you can see, I'm actually on my gunslinger rather than my pirate captain because I've actually maxed my pirate captain out and I'm level 26 gunslinger. Let me see. Oops. <laughs> my microphone is like inferno thing, so I can't see what I'm doing. So I'm not that far away from level 27. I'm not going to get level 27 in this video because that's pretty much like 50 dungeons. Not 50 dungeons, I'm um, a little bit under that, but it's still too much for me to do all in one video because that's going to take like maybe like an hour. Well, not an hour, maybe like, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, something like that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to max out my gunslinger today. I would like to, but I'm only level 26, so best case scenario, maybe I could get him to level 28 or 29 today, and then tomorrow I'll level him up to level 30, and then I'll just move on to the next class and do whatnot. Now, hello. <laughs> now, I've actually gotten a lot of lag with this guy. Like, I did not know he was... Like, he's not bad, it's just his shots don't register, and it's mostly adventure worlds, not like ele elemental worlds, because I haven't really been there that much, because I'm trying to get moon key fragments so I can go over to the shadow tower, because that's where all the drops are at, and that's where I get all my flux, pretty much. So, I'm not going to be giving anything away, as you can see, I don't have anything. So yeah, hashtag sorry. Sorry for not giving you guys anything after giving you two stellars in the previous videos, but yeah, hashtag cry, hashtag sub, hashtag whatever. So as you can also see, I'm not that <clears throat> not that high as a gunslinger. I'm only like 7.3k PR. <laughs> so I'm going to go into U6. I'm going to the air world. The air world is probably my most preferred elemental world, mainly because it's just in the sky. And I really like the sky, and it does not seem like there are that many people that actually come here. <coughs> uh, coughing, coughing central. <laughs> you gotta love them coughs. This smoke, was this smoke always here? Change of subject, hashtag I know. Now, I don't know why this dungeon reminds me of that, um... There's one dungeon, there's one new Fey dungeon that looks nothing like this, but for some reason it reminded me. And it, Scythe and I and a couple other people were actually looking at it before. And it's straight up broken. Like, you can't, well, you can do it, but it doesn't work like it's supposed to. It's funny. Like, you can bomb down and you can beat the boss, but there's no actual way of getting to the boss other than bombing down like it's just a broken dungeon and what I think the devs are going to do with it is what they've done with the cannon dungeon in the treasure isles I think they're just going to remove it rather than fix it although all they would need to do is place you know um, purple corals and that shouldn't be a problem but that with the devs everything's a problem pretty much but oh well not like they can do anything about it. Just coding and stuff. It's hard, man. It's hard works, son. <laughs> now, the gunslinger does not seem, to me, like it doesn't seem, like it actually seems like it's responsive. And it's actually doing its job. Like it's actually hitting and stuff. But that's what I mean. The air elemental world, there doesn't seem to be that much lag. Most likely because there's like not a lot of people, you know? And that makes sense, but... He's actually really strong. I don't know about U7, although Uber7, I know I keep saying U and then Uber7 and then all that stuff, but I don't know. Uber7 is not that much harder than U6, at least I don't think it is. The only jump, like the big jump, is from U8 to U9. That's the only, like, hardcore big jump. Um, Let me put my bombs back. Nope. I can't manage my own inventory. This is why I don't play Trove. Yes, it is. There's also another thing that I've been doing with the Gunslinger, which I'm not doing now, because I don't have the proper crit hit. And to be honest, I don't even know if I'm going to... Oh, wait. Oh, I can't place... Wait, can I play stuff? Yes, I have saved my drops, guys. <clears throat> I have saved the terrible legendary gun. You know what? Fall down. Fall down. I don't care. You guys can die. Pretty much. 
And that would have been cool if I like if it turned out to be like a radiant drop and I saved it. This would have been just would have been like the best thing I've ever done. I saved a radiant drop. Yes, although I stupid bombs. You see this? This is what the devs need to fix. They had this problem since like five billion years ago, where randomly things will just disappear off your inventory. It's like the devs are being haunted. This game is haunted and just removes everything and whatnot, and you never know what happens to anything. Is that a boss? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on. Moving on. I don't actually have my timer because um, I use my. I don't know if I've said this, but. I use my audio recording thing, it's not Audacity, it's actually another thing. I use my audio recording program to tell me what the time is, because it actually has a number, like it tells me how long I've been recording and whatnot. I'm actually getting really good drops. Ooh, Shadow Item. Oh, <laughs> that was the one I grabbed, never mind. I didn't know the VFX still lingered for a little bit after we got it. That's nice to know, I guess. I was saying something, but you know, I cut. I don't even. I don't know what I've been saying. Stuff, stuff. Anything that comes out of my mouth passes the Joe test. And the Joe test is pretty much stuff that I can say, but stuff. Legendary and that. Sometimes I've mistaken. I have mistook. <laughs> mistook. I. I've actually heard people say that. Like mistook. I don't know. It sounds so funny. I've mistook. Something about it. Mistook. Let's go over here. How many dungeons are... No, wrong thing. How many... Okay. There's one other dungeon by me. Which is nice. Don't hit me. <laughs> okay, this one has ladybugs. So, pretty much, you just look down and let the ladybugs kill themselves. That's pretty much how the gunslinger works. Now, if I was a proper gunslinger, I'd probably be, you know, like hovering in the air and then doing what a gunslinger do but that's not what a joe do so unfortunately since that's not what a joe do what <laughs> since that's not what a joe do that's not what a gunslinger do is that a dungeon what's going on man i'm scared i, I don't even have enough jump to get up there do it let's see i'm gonna do the the jow route the jow cheap route and just keep on spamming clip until i get up there there we go. Oh, it's that dungeon. I was so confused. Like, why is there just like a flowing box in the middle of the sky? I should probably be in U7 just for, I don't know, just for the little bit more EXP that I'd get. Although I think it would be like 1,000 more EXP or not 1,000, maybe like 100 or something. Now, I should actually go to um, a normal adventure world just to show you how laggy it can be and the challenge is actually up so that's probably going to be even worse for me so i probably don't want to do that that's also the other reason why no one's here right now probably is because of the dragon challenge except for that guy that has d and r and k in his name because people have the weirdest names in this name dr kung fu okay <laughs> there we go i didn't read his name until right now i thought it was like dark something i don't know why it couldn't have been dark, because the second letter was R, but okay. Because Joe knows how to spell dark, apparently. Now, the Gunslinger is a really good class, because his ultimate charges. <laughs> what kind of transition was that? Just find anything to transition to, Joe. It doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have to be good. Just find a transition. So, anyway. The Gunslinger is really good, because his um, ultimate charges are really fast. Usually charges from dungeon to dungeon. <clears throat> And I'm doing these dungeons relatively quickly, and my ultimate is still charging, like, from dungeon to dungeon. So if you're in Uber 9, your ultimate will definitely charge before you get to the next dungeon. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if his ultimate, like, if you could use his ultimate twice in the same dungeon, but I don't think that would be necessary, because I think you would have him dead before you could whatever and I'm not even using my flask I just realized but I don't need to because it's only uber 6 maybe if it was uber 7 I would I don't know uber 7 is not even that much more powerful so I got my these thing no <laughs> I, I can't press keys on my keyboard I got these things so let's actually go to the gem section and buy out uh, three of these and see if you can get anything 
The epic box opening on camera, guys. The epic box opening. We all love this. Yay! 1k dust. 1k blue dust. 300 red dust. Red. I just I just pretty much say the color. I don't even say the element anymore. Let's see. Hmm. See, like, the thing is, is this even worth the level up? Well, actually, yeah, it is, because I don't know how many stars it came with. I think it came with two. Wait. But, it, like, I don't see, like, there's no clear indication. It looks like it had two stars on the beginning. But I'm thinking it had one, because, like, at level five, it got two. And then at level ten, it got another star. So I don't even know. So I don't even know if I want to level it up. Because I do eventually want to get a magic set, because the new class is apparently going to be magic, and it's like, you need to get the magic gems, even though I'm not going to, like, I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, like, do, like, switch over to another class just because, like, to play as it, just to see, like, how strong it actually is. But the thing is, whoa, not flying. <laughs> the thing is, people always ask me, what class is stronger, and... <clears throat> I can't really answer that anymore, because back then, it was get to level 20 and then get radiant gear. Now it's get full stellar gear, get level 30, and then get the best possible gems for that class. Which is not easy at all, so I can't tell anyone. Like, <laughs> I just can't tell anyone anything, because... First of all, I don't have magic gems, so if you ask me about a magic class, I'm not gonna be able to tell you anything. And my physical gems, which is what I main, the physical classes, I don't even have the best gems for them, so it's like, just rip. I, like, this, like, the whole gem system is so RNG, I can't even, like, even if I wanted to, I couldn't get good gems, like, and the thing is, that, that it doesn't even stop at that. Once you get the perfect, um, stats for the gems, like, let's just say... That you've been farming for hours and hours, and you finally get the perfect gem, like, damage, crit hit, and crit damage. No, that's not enough for you. You have to level it up, and then once you, like, once you get it to level 15, that's when you start getting the stat boosts. And you have to, like, you have to g get lucky with RNG, <clears throat> and have it give you stat boosts in, like, damage and crit damage and whatever you want. Because, chances are, it could give you, like, like, it happened to me once. It gave me all stat boosts in crit hit, which is, like, you know, stupid, because, like, it should let you either, like, it should let you either, um, pick what stat you want to boost, or it should just go in order. Like, the top one gets boosted at level 5, like, the first stat. The second stat gets boosted at level 10. And then the third stat gets boosted at level 13. Oh, 15, I mean. Like, why can't it just be a simple system like that, rather than having an RNG? Because, you know, Abram's like, Oh, I love my RNG. RNG is the best thing in this game. Although, we don't play this game, so we don't know how bad we made it. So, huh. <laughs> and if you don't like it, you can leave. <laughs> Pretty much. In all honesty, if I wasn't even in Team Pixel, I probably would have left this game a long time ago. But the thing is, um, Scythe Plays actually got me into this game, so there there was no chance of that to even begin with. So let's do this one dungeon and then go over to um, a Prime World, which I think they're I think they refer to them as Prime Worlds, like the Uber Worlds, like the normal ones. I guess I don't know. But let's just do this and see if we can actually you know, damage stuff in the normal worlds. Nice. Okay, let's go back to Team Pixel 5. And actually see, I might go into you... No, I'll go into, I'll go into Uber, se Uber 7. Go over here. Now, the other reason why I don't like going in here, like, not just because of the lag, but just because of, like, some of these biomes I don't like, I don't like at all. Um, mainly the permafrost biome. I know I had the fix of that one to make the sky all, you know, blue and whatnot, not bright. But it's not just that. It's the, it's the fact that every dungeon, every dungeon creator for that biome type has made, like, the floors all uh, ice blocks. And it's like, dude, why you gotta do that? And then it's like, oh, we're, go we're going to make it so, 
you know, ooh, it's actually working. I'm surprised. But then it's like, oh, we're going to also make it. So we're going to put bounce pads or launch pads in there with you. And you got ice physics on launch pads that it's like, what do you do? You just leave the, you just leave the biome and whatnot. Why is everyone grouped here? I don't know. Well, this is uh, like the main spawn point, but whatever. <laughs> Actually, hmm. I'm going to stop it there because I'm just going to assume that I've been going over like 13 minutes. I hope I have. I don't think this is a short video, but let's see how far we've actually gotten. Yeah, actually, that's really good. Just like a couple, a few more dungeons, probably like 10, 15 minutes and I would have had it. But I'm going to stop the video right there, guys. So in the next episode... I don't know if I'm going to be level 20, wait, 27, is it? Dude, level, yeah, level 27. I don't know if in the next video I'm going to be level 27, or if I'm just going to, like, record, you know, just start recording after this, and then get to level 27, and then do whatnot. But, <laughs> that stuff will be decided in the next video, so, see you later, and have a nice day.